Okay, it's Friday. Where are we at? Well, things go well. We finish this pile today. Hanging it that way. Yes. Well, you're very close. Just one last little area. I don't, I just don't think that there are words for me to describe. Like, I can't possibly articulate how much joy I feel in September. Like, I love it. September is, like, these smells and the, col the colors are so fun and so beautiful. Pumpkin, cinnamon, everything. I love it. It's always life. And then you have soap. Oh, so it's Friday. It's Merry Day. <laughs> Mary's here. We're get, Mary's a photographer. What are we photographing today, Mary? Bride and groom. Oh, we have a bride and groom coming. They're on their way. We're going to take them outside. We're going to learn posing, lighting, well, everything, because you have a wedding coming up. Yes. Yeah. And Next it's, month. And it's time to get it together. Kick it into gear. Oh, we're going to kick it into gear. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your arsenal. What is all of this gear? Well, I'll start with my favorite. The Canon Mark III, yeah. 5D Mark III. That's a nice camera. How long have you had Thank it? You. Um, I had this since about Black Friday. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to figure it all out though. Yeah, so, so not quite a year. Yeah. No, not quite a year with the 24 to 70 2.8 Canon lens. Nice. The 70 to 200 Canon lens, 2.8. The 50 1.4 Canon lens. Yep. Some extension tubes. Yes. Um, a Canon 430 ES2 flash. I got a light meter. And I have the 600 flash with my Canon. 600 RT radio transmitter. Yes. And, and this Expo disc. And the Expo disc. How would you classify and yourself, business or hobbyist? Right now, hobbyist, but in the back of my head, possibly. Yes. Business. In the future. Because I got to tell you something, Mary. This is not the gear of a hobbyist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is this is not hobby gear. <laughs> And I think you know that. <laughs> this is pro level gear. Oh. Because remember, a hobby costs you money and a business makes you money. And this is not cheap, this, this list of gear. Right now, this is a hobby because this... it's costing me all money. <laughs> so hopefully within the next year, we'll start making money and then we can justify all of the fancy gear. Yes, that would be fabulous. <laughs> like, I'm about to get married. Holy moly, what have I done? You know, like, what am I thinking? Right. Yeah, like it's very kind of... But I like her with a little more of a smile. Okay. So I'll have her stand there and look out the window. Yeah, and a tiny smile. Okay. Because sometimes on the wedding day, it's really hard to tell uh, the bride's best look because you're so caught up in what you're doing. Yep, yep, perfect. And a smile, yes. Make sure you push that hip away from the camera. Yeah. Lean towards me just a little bit. Yes. So that's a good hands. way to get out of light. Yeah. You're going to... Yeah, you can want to I don't know what else to say. That's the key. A good way to get out of the heavy shadow dilemma is don't look, don't look at, at the camera. camera. It wouldn't look right. I'm going to change my... Okay. 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 Yeah, there's no such thing as cheap paint. Do you remember this story? No. He doesn't even know why he I yelled mean, at you. I no. It was... I mean, he just went on and on and on and on about how she's going to paint. You need me good paint. What year was this, Mom? It was, it was a while ago. How many, how many decades ago? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember what Several. he was painting. <laughs> right. What did he paint? <laughs> I got and it he up doesn't at, remember. I got it up at um, Klaus. I was C plus. Oh, I was C plus. That was a while ago. When was the last time you bought paint, Grandma? I bet yeah. that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was it. Yep. She it won't ever do it again. No. no. <laughs> Mom, this is everybody's favorite meal. By everybody, I mean me. <laughs> this buffalo chicken casserole is delicious. My friend Mary was asking for the recipe, so we need to post it again. I remember you posted it before, but I or I did. I can't remember. I looked it up and it's on all recipe plus and it's also on Food Network. Oh. And I usually use, I guess I usually use the Food Network and this time I was on all recipe. It called for a lot, lot, lot more olive oil. Oh. Which was why it looks different. Oh, 
it does look different. But I think it kept it from from charring. Kept oh, the potatoes from charring. Maybe that helps. So. I'm on day five of my Vinylux manicure and it's chipping and I don't have that happen with shellac so I'm not sure if this is going to be for me or not. It also doesn't look as smooth and shiny and you know polished as shellac so we'll see. It'll do it. I made some caramel popcorn for our snack tonight, so I'm just kind of stirring it to get it back in the oven. It is so delicious. And for fun, since it's fall, I added this into the mix. This is so good. It's largely comprised of cinnamon, but it also has corn tea, corangy, cinnamon, nutmeg, mace, and cloves. I don't even know what that is. Does anyone know what that is, that ingredient? Anyway, tastes good.